Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade 1. And we are learning Unit 12. Its title is The Giant Panda. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modified for your convenience. I'm going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children, today under the title of grammar, we are going to learn about pointing words. Before this, I have taught you about singular and plural naming words. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And this concept is going to help us to understand our today's SLO that is use words that point to something this, that, these and those. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verse 2. This is the book of Allah. There is no doubt in it. It is a guidance for the pious. Yes, my dear children, but this beautiful verse is telling us. This beautiful verse is telling us the importance of Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about Quran. This, this is the book. Our Quran is the book, which is speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is no doubt in it, in it. And it is a guidance for us, for, for people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, beta, we should recite Quran every day. Do you, do you recite Quran? Are you learning how to recite Quran? Very good. So, my dear children, here a word, this is pointing to Quran. So, you tell me, what does pointing word mean? So, whatever you know, tell to your teacher and what are pointing words. So, what does a pointing word mean and what are pointing words? Pause the video, answer this question to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear children, so pointing word points, pointing word is a word which points to something. For example, this is an apple. So when I'm telling you this is an apple, right? I have used this pointing word, this. But if this apple is far from me, how will I point out? I will say, that is an apple. This is an apple. That is an apple. So, pointing word this we use when something is closer to us and we use pointing word that when something is farther from us. This is an apple. That is an apple. This is an apple. That is an apple. Right? So, this and that both are pointing words. All right? And if apples are more than one, how do we point to them? These are apples. These are apples. Why these? Because apples are closer to me. These are apples. Those are apples. Now, apples are farther from me. That's why I'm saying those are apples. So, those is also pointing word. These are apples. These is pointing word. Those are apples, those is pointing word, right? So, what we have learned so far, this, that, these, those are pointing words, right? So, how do we differentiate? Let's learn further. This kitchen is here. Now, you know, we use this as a pointing word if something is near to us, right? And that is a kitten. We use that when something is farther from us. But in both cases, something is closer to us, something is farther to us. But in both cases, the object we are pointing to is one. So this is pointing word for one. And one, what, we, what do we call it? Singular naming word. One is a singular naming word. So, if we are pointing to one thing and that is closer to us, we'll say this. 
this is this kitten is here this kitten is here it is closer to me this kitten is here that kitten is there again kitten is one it is singular that that's why we have used that uh, singular pointing word so what we learned we use singular pointing word if something closer to us this and singular pointing word when something is farther from us that right likewise if the objects which are closer to us are plural more than one we'll point by saying these these kittens are here now why these because kittens are more than one it is plural so these kittens are here right and if more than one kittens are farther from us they are plural so how we'll point to them those kittens are there right why those because kittens are farther from us and they are more than one those kittens are there right so those kitten for plural right you see this for singular these for plural both if they are nearer to you this kitten is here these kittens are here right so this and these this with singular and these with plural do you understand and likewise if they are farther that for singular and those for plural that if they are far from you that for singular and those for plural more than one are you clear with the concept that's wonderful let's revise it this kitten is here and these kitten are here now in both cases kittens are closer to us that's why this kitten is here these kittens are here that kitten is here those kittens are here now when to use this and these that or those do you understand that for singular farther and those for plural farther this for singular closer nearer and these were plural closer do you understand can you use it correctly now okay i'm going to shake it first let's revise the concept this for singular and these for plural refer to objects or persons near this speaker and that for singular and those for plural refer to objects or persons far away from the speaker this is what i told you so let's check the concept through an activity what we are going to do your teacher will point towards objects near and far away and students will use this or that with the name of these objects right so teacher will point and you will say by using this or that okay so pause the video enjoy the activity and then come back yes my dear children are you done with it good job now let's practice it from your book all of you open your book on page number 88 read this book practice this that these those how do we read it how do we say it practice it and then come back Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. It's time for your homework. You will write simple sentences by using this, that, these, and those in your notebook. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers. This worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. And my dear children, what you are going to do? Better you will look at the picture and complete the sentence by using the correct pointing word. All right, this is how you will complete this worksheet. So what we have learned today, we learned to point something near to us. We use this for singular and these for plural naming words. And to point something farther from us, we use that for singular and those for plural naming words. So in this way, we achieved our today's SLO use words that point to something, this, that, these, and those. Are we done with it? 
Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning and take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.